Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to check if your laptop has an expandable RAM without opening or disassembling it. Now by expandable RAM, I mean socketed sticks of memory that can be readily removed and replaced with another of either larger or smaller capacity. In the past, you might have heard that by going to your task manager under the performance tab and then clicking on memory, you can look at the form factor to see what it says. And if it says row of chips, that would mean that you have a soldered RAM that cannot be readily removed and as such can be upgraded. But if it says SODIM, then that should mean that you have socketed RAM sticks that can be readily removed and upgraded. But is that really the case? Well, we'll find out in a moment. Generally, many recent Ultrabooks with thinner chassis are gradually moving towards soldered RAMs which are not upgradable. Here I have these four laptops with different RAM configurations. We'll be seeing how through this theory of checking the form factor holds for each of them. Before that, I'll be showing you a three-step approach to verifying if your laptop has a soldered RAM or a removable RAM and why each of these steps is essential. In the process, I will also be showing you how to check the maximum RAM capacity your PC can take. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first of the three-step approach is to check the memory form factor in Task Manager. To do that, simply right-click on the taskbar and click on Task Manager. You can also use the keyboard combination, Control shift escape to open your Task Manager. On the Task Manager, click on the Performance tab. Then click on Memory. Here under Form Factor, if it says Sodium, then it's likely that your laptop uses socketed sticks of RAM. Hence, it is upgradable. But if it says row of chips, then it's likely that you have a soldered RAM that cannot be upgraded. Now, I use the word likely here deliberately because it could say SODIM when you have a soldered RAM and it could also say row of chips when you have socketed removable RAMs. So we need to proceed with the second and third steps to help improve the accuracy of our conclusion. The second step requires the use of a third-party tool called Free PC Audit Tool. As the name implies, this tool is completely free to use, thanks to MIS Utilities. Certified by TechSpot Lab as 100% safe to download and install, this tool extracts details of all components of your PC, which of course includes your memory. To download this tool, simply go to Google search and type Free PC Audit. Click on the link from TechSpot. Here, yeah, simply click on download now and wait for the download to complete. It's a very light application. It's just about 12 megabytes in size. I will also leave a download link down in the video description. Now, this is a portable application, so no need to install it. You can simply run it from the download folder by double clicking. Hit yes on the user account control and wait for the scanning process to complete. Afterwards, you should see a page like this pop up. Now you can run this tool with or without internet connection. It really doesn't matter. However, when you run this without internet connection, in the end, it will pop out some kind of error saying updating error can't open the home page. Now, never mind this error. It doesn't really affect the outcome. Simply close it and continue with the process. Here it shows a summary of the system information. But what we are interested in is found under the system tab. So click on it. Here we have tons of information about the system. On the left column, you will see where it says memory slot. And to the right, it gives some information about the RAM. Now under form factor, if it says unknown, then you very likely have sold out RAMs that cannot be upgraded. But if it says sodium, then you likely have socketed RAM sticks that can be removed, changed or upgraded. The third step of the verification is to check the maximum memory size supported by your laptop. Technically speaking, if your laptop already has the maximum supported memory, then it's no longer upgradable. This could come in handy whether you are dealing with soldered or socketed RAMs. Once the max capacity is already reached, then we can draw a quick conclusion. You can check the maximum memory supported by your PC also on the free PC audit tool. You can do this on the command prompt as well, but simply by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the memory slot, then here you have max capacity. 
Now, each memory has this max capacity parameter. However, the max capacity on each memory is actually the max capacity of the computer itself and not the individual modules. So, for instance, on this X1 carbon, the max capacity on each slot says 8 gigabytes and there are two slots. So each slot actually has a max capacity of 4 gigabytes and the laptop itself has a max capacity of 8 gigabytes. This further confirms that this laptop memory is not upgradable. Okay, so now that we know these three steps, let's go ahead and see how that applies to each of these four laptops, beginning with the ideal cases. Here I have opened the bottom covers of each of these laptops so that after we see what the three steps say, we can actually check that it matches the reality for each laptop. So first up is that of a fully socketed RAM system. Here we have this Lenovo ThinkPad W540. And as you can see, this laptop has four RAM sockets, meaning the RAMs are readily removable and also upgradable. Now let's see what each of the three steps says about that, beginning with the memory form factor. Here as you can see, the laptop currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1600 megahertz. Slots used is one of four, meaning there is only one stick of 8 gig RAM and three empty slots. Form factor says sodium, which generally implies removable and upgradable RAM. Next, let's run the free PC audit tool to see the second and third information. Here the form factor also says sodium and it clearly shows that you have three empty memory slots. Finally, we check the maximum capacity, which in this case is 32 gigabytes. So each RAM slot can hold maximum of 8 gigabytes of RAM. Hence, this laptop can be upgraded up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Next up, we have this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon G5. This laptop is obviously much thinner than the W540, so one can infer that it likely has a fully sold out RAM. Now, while that is not always the case, but as you can see here, the laptop has no RAM sockets at all. So here we are dealing with a case of fully sold out RAM that cannot be upgraded. But let's see what the three steps says about that. For the memory form factor, here as you can see, the laptop currently has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1867 megahertz. Slots used is 2 of 2, and form factor says row of chips which generally implies soldered RAM that cannot be upgraded. Slots used being two of two just means that there are two of such rows of chips. Next, let's run the free PC audit tool to see the second and third information. Here, the form factor for the two chips says unknown, which should mean soldered RAM that cannot be upgraded once again. No empty slots, so you can be certain that you are dealing with a fully soldered RAM system. Finally, let's check the maximum capacity. Here, the maximum capacity is 8 GB, so each row of chips is a 4 GB RAM. Here, we can conclude that this laptop has only soldered RAMs and hence cannot be upgraded. Now, as you can imagine, some manufacturers are leveraging the two walls, hence combining row of chips with removable RAM sockets. So, for the third and fourth laptops, we'll be seeing two distinct cases of such combination and what the three-step approach says about them. Here, we have this Lenovo IdeaPad C340. And underneath, we see that it has both soldered RAM and a RAM socket. Now, when we check the memory form factor, it says SODIM and the slots you says 2 of 2. Also, when I check the free PC or the tool, it says SODIM for the two slots, despite having one soldered RAM and one socketed RAM. Now, intuitively, when I remove the socketed RAM, I would expect that the form factor should change to row of chips. Let's see if that would be the case. Here, as you can see, after removing the socketed RAM, the slots used changed to one of two, which is what I expected. However, the form factor still remains sodium. Now, this is why you cannot exclusively rely on the first step to make your conclusions. So let's go to the second and third step to see what the free PC audit tool has to say. Here on the free PC audit tool, we still have it as sodium. However, we now have one empty slot which indicates upgradability. Thirdly, when we check the maximum capacity, it says 32 GB, meaning this device still has room for expansion. And since the form factor says sodium, then we can be sure that there is at least one RAM socket through which we can readily upgrade the RAM. Finally, we have this fourth laptop, Lenovo V14 G2 ITL. 
This laptop also has a combination of soldered and socketed RAM. So let's see what the three steps says about it. Here, as you can see, the form factor says row of chips and the slots used says two of two. Let's see what the free PC audio tool says. Now, unlike the C340, this laptop shows that one of the memories has an unknown form factor and the other has a sodium, meaning one soldered RAM and one socketed RAM. The maximum capacity here says 16 GB, so this laptop has to be upgradable somehow. Now, let's remove the socketed RAM and see how that affects these parameters. Okay, so here, despite having two slots, one removable and one socketed, the slots used says one of one, which would normally mean only one RAM slot, and the form factor still remains row of chips. And if we check on the free PC or the two, here we are left with one empty slot and one 4 gigabyte unknown form factor. So here we get an indication that this laptop has at least one RAM socket through which it can be upgraded. Now, as we have seen from these four laptops, it seems manufacturers have not agreed on a common standard of defining the kind of RAM present in the more recent laptops. So we have to put these elements together to make the best guess for each situation. Another pointer to help make accurate conclusion is to check the spec sheet of the laptop from the manufacturer support center. Now, as dependable as one might expect that to be, there could also be cases where some laptop models come in different configurations. So it's not 100% reliable. However, some manufacturers like HP are using more specific model numbers to define specific configurations of the same laptop model. For instance, we have this HP MVX360 come with several model numbers to define several configurations. Here, these three configurations all come with onboard RAM, meaning the RAMs are soldered. Also for this Lenovo IdeaPad C340, the spec sheet clearly says one memory soldered to the system board, and one DDR4 sodium slot, so one soldered and one socketed RAM. On the maximum memory, it says the max memory is based on the test results with current Lenovo memory offerings. The system may support more memory as technology develops. So this is also a subject to change. Generally, I would say if the free PC or the tool assigns sodium to the form factor of any of your RAMs, or it says empty slot, then you certainly have at least one socketed RAM that can be removed and upgraded. But if they all say unknown form factor and none is empty, then you likely have all soldered RAMs, more so when the maximum RAM capacity has been reached. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.